I know that his hand shall provide the need for a strength and clarity of him. In those instances, where even seems to have reached the limit of human capacity. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this day is bold and majestic, yet bright and full of spirit as is our precious nation. As a nation, we have long ago decided to march beyond the dimness of night into open day of renewed national hope. The question is, and we must now as a script, is whether to remain faithful to the work inherent in the building of a better society or retreat into the shadow of our unmet potential. For me, there is but no one answer. There are two great we are too great a nation and too grand as a people to rob ourselves of our finest destiny. The nation's journey has been shaped by the prayers of our founding fathers another billion and the collective sacrifices of us all. We have endured a hardship that will have made other societies crumble. We have shouldered the heavy body to arrive at this sublime moment where the prospect of a better future matches with our improved capacity to pray. Nigeria's Bola Tinubu has been sworn in as the president of Africa's most populous country at a period of unprecedented challenges, leaving some citizens hopeful for a better life and others skeptical that his government would perform better than the one he succeeded. The former governor of Lagos, Nigeria's economic hub, Tinubu, 71 years old, was sworn in as Nigeria's president in Abuja, the capital city, in the presence of thousands of Nigerians and several heads of governments. He succeeds President Mohamedou Buhali to lead a country that, by 2050, is forecast to become the third most populous nation in the world tied with the United States after India and China. He has promised to build on Buhari's efforts to deliver democratic dividends to citizens in a country where deadly security crisis, widespread poverty and hunger have left many frustrated and angry. And with his election still being contested, in court by opposition parties and among many young Nigerians, Tinubu has also pledged to reunite the country. His manifesto of renewed hope prioritizes the creation of sufficient jobs and ramping up of local production of goods, investing in agriculture and public infrastructure, providing economic opportunities for the poorest and most vulnerable as well as creating better national security architecture to tackle all forms of insecurity. However, Tinubu's ambitious plans could be threatened in his first 100 days in office by a mountain of challenges from insecurity to a fiscal crisis 
poverty and deepening public discontent with the state, said Mokahidi Dumars, senior West Africa analyst at risk intelligence company Verisk Mapokov. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.